はあ、触ることを許した覚えはないけど The Tier 8 Heavy Cruiser Admiral Hipster is the pinnacle of German engineering made after the Kriegsmarine realized that sinking convoys using U boats are starting to get boring. Being made at the time where the Germans felt obligated to show their ego, it gets the perk of being heavy, unnecessary, complicated, yet inherently outdated. It has 8 gun barrels, yet the ship displaces over 15,000 tons. It also breaks more often than an average player in a carrier match. Just to give you a grasp on how mechanically disastrous it is, imagine an old German car. You feel special for owning one, but once you use it, everything starts to fall apart. It has great aesthetics, but the massive superstructure and shitty armor makes it a soft target for HE shells. It gets 50mm HE pen easy mode, but has an emic HE alpha that damages enemy like a dull knife in a gunfight. And with twin barrel setup, means it tends to have shit dispersion compared to triple barreled ones. So don't be surprised when the game said and throws your accuracy out of the window. You think the turtle back armor makes it citadel proof, until you get ass raped from the weirdest angle possible, much like other cruisers. Because the German thought it's a good idea to size down turtle backs so it fits on what is effectively one quarter of a BB. Which makes the turtle back in the hipper a half assed attempt at actually protecting shit, unlike their best science BB and the bastardized version of it. Not only for being thinner than it actually were, but also failing at protecting the overly complicated engine. That gets disabled when someone shoots big HE shell at your direction despite being covered by layers of armor, which means even dumb people will outplay you. Trust me they won't fix this because people are supposedly smarter than that. The only thing that isn't dumb on the ship is the 6k AP alpha that everyone seems to forgot because it's overpowered by mediocrity. You use the AP to slap big damage against pretty much anything that has their broadside showing. See a broadsiding baby, you chunk it with AP, see that cheeky destroyer, fucking choke it with AP. Even over pens dealt more damage than an HE shell against saturated section. This is why AP should be your primary, while you use HE against angled target as usual. You put yourself in a spot where you can catch broadsides, or expect people to be broadsiding against you, you are an opportunist instead of a damage dealer. This means separating off the main fleet, but that is exactly what you should do, because everyone knows that a hipper is too mediocre for them to care about. If they focus on you, they'll be wasting shots that could otherwise done to the rest of your team, and even if they kill you, your absence is easily forgettable by your teammates. You stay angled, and keep on dodging. Take rudder mod 1, if you have slow reaction like me, the more you dodge the higher your chance of winning. It has bad EPM. Which means you'll be wasting your time trying to set fire on BBs, let alone trading with practically anything else that isn't another hipper and her busty premium. Because it is not obligated to do any particular role, you can freely move around and cover up exposed flanks to prevent the enemy from closing the distance. Now it is the time for superior German engineering and space magic against clueless plebeians except not really. See even though it has a turtle back, the lack of thickness of the ship actually causes BB shell from close range to simply go through it. All you need to do is show the flattest broadside possible, then laugh as they wasted a salvo against practically nothing. It also had rather decent AA, and because you already have mediocre HE and accuracy to begin with, you can invest into AA focus build and lose practically nothing. Making it a surprisingly good AA escort assuming the enemy CV are as clueless as you are. The hipper is a late game ship, the more HP you have the better it before. Just be sure not to get smashed by danger pylons early on.
This is how you make mediocrity slightly less mediocre. You take incoming fire alert, adrenaline rush, superintendent, and concealment. After that drop 4.4 manual AA, and finally vigilance or demolition expert. Then mount all the boring modules that everyone knows but can't remember the names. Now that you know how to play the hippo, do yourself a favor, and just grind another line. Like seriously, there are better ships with distinct role instead of this floating confusion. You want long range spam, get either of these. You want team play oriented ship, these will do the job better and more efficiently. I legitimately believe the Hipper is the only ship that can nonchalantly assume every victory is always attributed to its enemy incompetence, rather than having or creating its own tactical advantage. There is so much perseverance involved in the ship it makes German high command blush. I'm not forcing you to scrape the good out of a ship that belongs to the absolute bottom. Again, you are jimping yourself by playing it, and you are insulting history if you manage to win games and top the scoreboard. This is my issue with German ships in current state of the game. They've become power creep to hell, but are being left as it is because of their so-called durability and superior German science bullshit. But we all know that no matter how good your armor, no matter how much HP you get, and no matter how relevant you were, you will eventually die. 